Oh, yeah, good. I, I liked that one a lot. Tainomi, you need to go put something on that burn, girl. On that burn, <laughs> so you'll be red. <laughs> Hello, Lemon. Welcome to Pop Buzz. Hello, thank you for having me. You look stunning, head to toe. Lemon's in the background as well. Oh, you know, a little something. Congratulations on reaching the top five, Lemon. Thank you. I was shocked, and I think the fans are going to be shocked to see you go home as you won last week's challenge. And to be fair, you let Jeffrey have it in the confessionals. So I get the impression you weren't expecting to go home either. Would you say that's right or? I, I think when you get to the top five, when you make it so far in the competition, I think it, it really becomes anyone's game. You know, it, it's hard because the four girls who are still there are so talented and I respect all of their drag so much that I, you know, I don't want to say, oh, I deserve to be there because so do they. And and honestly, so do the girls who went home before me. They, it, it was, it's a very tight, group of talent and it's very very fierce competition so no i'm i'm happy that you know everything played out the way it did and I, i'm proud of myself for making it to where i did and i'm gonna clap and congratulate you for the top five yes Thank you. so lemon as it's the first canada's drag race we thought we'd make a drag race yearbook for you to cherish your memories for all time Love so how it's gonna work is we need you to nominate your fellow queens in the following yearbook categories, but you can't nominate yourself, okay? Okay. We'll start off with an easy one. Category is... Best look. Oh, I have to give it to Priyanka. I think, you know, the win was so well-deserved there. Her and her little sissy looked you know, amazing. They were so gorgeous and, and just radiant, you know? Yeah. So, Priyanka. Yeah, I was going to say Priyanka as well. I was, I was with you on that one. It was beautiful. And the internet has fallen in love with you and Priyanka, and they've given you a ship name, Lemonka. Tell me, I need to know, how was that friendship and how did it blossom on the show? Honestly, there's just something really magnetic about her, and she's she is such a, a wonderful soul, and you can really feel it like radiating all the time. So I looked at her day one, and I just looked her in her eyes, and I was like, you're going to be my best friend. And she was like, okay, babe, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> but I, I was right. There's just something, I, I could just feel our energies worked really well together. She's so brilliant. She's so good at drag. And she's also just a really cool person. So I'm so happy. I'm so proud of her. Category is... Biggest Drama Queen. Jimbo. Jimbo, okay. Why'd you say Jimbo? Jimbo just lives in a, another planet and everything that happens to Jimbo is a, a full length feature film. He's just an icon, a legend, a star, and lives on a hundred. So Jesse Ferguson from Modern Family was showing you some love on Twitter, okay? Um, have you had any other like celebs or people that you sort of like admire been showing you support while you've been on the show? It's been really, really crazy. There's been messages every day from people that like shake me to my core. Like people who I have looked up to forever that, you know, are just reaching out and saying like, I'm loving you. I'm loving what you're doing. I'm, I want you to win. I'm like, oh, oops. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like a lot of love and a lot of support. And honestly, what's gagging me the most is like, I'm a huge Drag Race fan. And it's crazy seeing all of the Drag Race legends being able to reach out and say, you know, you made me laugh. I'm, I'm like, that is enough. I, I feel just so honored. Category is... Shadiest Queen. And I can't say myself? Can't say yourself, fortunately. Uh, it really me. I don't know what to say. Like, no, oh, I would have said Jimbo, because uh, in confessionals, he's been a bit, uh, been a bit, hmm. Okay, well, yeah, then Jimbo, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but you said it first. The talent on the show is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Right? right? I'm like, okay, these girls did not come to play. They came to slay. No, I was shook. But you really came through with some iconic moments. One of our favorites was the reading challenge, and especially <laughs> your read to Priyanka. How did you come up with the only thing you're is stupid. 
It still makes me laugh every time. I don't know. So on day one, I got everyone's name and I knew exactly who was in the room and I got back to my hotel room and I wrote everyone's name down and I thought like, okay, how am I gonna read these bitches to filth? I mean, you know that the reading challenge is coming. Reading is fundamental, honeys. So it just came to me. I mean, I, I think honestly it's true for Priyanka, so. <laughs> if you want to Priyanka, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> Were there any reads that didn't make the air that you wish had? Uh, I had a really good one for Tainomi, but she had already sashayed away, unfortunately. Ooh. But I was gonna say, uh, when it comes to acting challenges, it's more like Tainomi blanks. Ooh. Tainomi, you need to go put something on that burn, girl. On that burn, <laughs> girl. Category is Future All Stars winner. I can't say myself again. <laughs> You can't say yourself. I'm gonna go with my queen, Kiki. Kiara is an absolute undiscovered star. She's so young mm -hmm. and so good at what she does. And I, I am like uh, obsessed with Kiki. So I'm gonna say Kiki. So what we really loved was your snatch game. Uh, your snap game, yeah. <laughs> and you got a response from Jojo herself. Amazing. Did you have any backups just in case? Well, actually, full tea, JoJo was my backup. I was not intending oh. to do JoJo Siwa at all, but I was originally going to be Gigi Gorgeous, who's a Canadian legend and one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, internet personalities. And I'm also just a huge, like, stan, so uh, I, like, know a lot about her and her life and her stories and stuff like that. So she was, I guess, my first choice, but I just felt she's a little close to what Lemon is, and I, I knew the judges were looking for me to really push myself and knock it out of the park, and I just thought JoJo is the complete opposite, and she was the perfect choice. I'm so glad. And I also, I'm a JoJo stan. I love her a lot, so that's pretty exciting, too. You were honestly amazing. For me, personally, one of the best Snatch games in Drag Race history. So, oh, yes. thank yes. you. Where am I going? I'm clapping again. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna clap again. Category is... Class Clown. Priyanka. The Joker of the classroom, you can just yeah. tell. Priyanka is Class Clown for sure. <laughs> Absolutely. So what is next for Lemon? What's going on? Got anything in the work? Oh, you know, I first I'm gonna come up with the cure for coronavirus and make a vaccine for everyone so then I can come and splitty my kitty all over the world. Uh, I really just wanna, you know, do some shows, meet some people. There's been so much love and support and so many incredible fans and, and, and supporters and I, I wanna meet them and Say hi and sign your t-shirts and sign your ass if you want me to. So that's next for Lemon. And then after that, we'll see. There's some big things in the works, but obviously, who knows what. Well, I'm so excited to see because you can sign my ass first if you want to. I'm going to be first in I'll that I'll be right game. there, baby. <laughs> yes. So here's our last one. What category would you put yourself in? Oh, all of them. Winner, shady, clown, all of them. The all-rounder. Yeah, I'm worldwide. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> worldwide, queen of them all, Lemon! <laughs> Category is... <laughs> all-rounder. Well, thank you so much, Lemon. It's been an honor talking to you and you've been so lovely. Of course, thank you so much for having me, Angel. Anytime. I've been Why She Black. Lovely to meet you. Take care. Much love. Right. Bye. Bye.